Welcome to Education Lifeline. This is Trishita Paul, and today we will be working on geometric sequence word problems. Now, if you haven't watched our previous videos on geometric sequences, a playlist will be linked in the description below, as well as in the top right-hand corner of your screen. Please check those videos out before watching this one. So the problem here states, you purchase a luxury car for $50,000. The car depreciates in value 20% every year, and you decide to sell it after five years of owning it. What value do you sell the car for? So the first step in any geometric sequence word problems is to write down the explicit rule, which is the easier of the two rules to use when solving for any word problems. So our explicit formula is f of n is equal to f of 1 times r to the n minus 1. And we need to find our initial value and our common ratio r to be able to use this formula. So going back to the problem, we know that we purchased the car for $50,000. That's what the car is initially worth. That's going to be our f of 1. The car depreciates in value 20%. That is our R, our common ratio. We're depreciating by 20%, which means that every year our car is going to be 80% what it was worth the previous year. So our R is 0.8. And you decide to sell it after five years of owning it. That's going to be our N. So to write our explicit rule, we plug in our value for f of 1, which is 50,000, times 0.8 to the n minus 1. Now here the question asks, what value do you sell the car for after 5 years of owning it? Keep in mind that the first year the car is worth $50,000, which means after 5 years we're calculating what the car is worth in its sixth year. That means we have to plug in 6 for n to get our correct answer. So f of 6 is equal to 50,000 times 0.8 to the 6 minus 1. If you do the math, that equals $16,384. Car is going to be worth this amount of money after five years of owning it. Now, this next problem states you are trying to be a faster reader by doubling the number of pages you read each week. On the first week of February, you read 45 pages. How many pages will you have read after eight weeks? Once again, let's start off by writing our explicit formula and then going back to the word problem and seeing what numbers they give us. So it says that you are trying to become a fast reader by doubling the number of pages you read each week. The doubling is going to be our common ratio. We're multiplying the number of pages we read each week by 2. That means our R is 2. Now on the first week of January, so we, we read 45 pages. So that's going to be our f of 1. We, we're starting in the first week of February by reading 45 pages. And the question asks, how many pages will you have read after 8 weeks? That is going to be our n. And once again, it's going to be similar to our initial pro um, problem. After 8 weeks, what we'll be reading, that's going to be n is equal to 9. So let's rewrite our explicit formula with the values we know. So 45 times 2 to the n minus 1. And solving for this will give you the number of pages you will have read after 8 weeks. If this video was helpful, please drop a like and subscribe to Education Lifeline. Be sure to watch our next unit on data and statistics and check the description for more helpful resources. We include tips as well as practice problems in the description of every video. 
please make sure to leave any questions in the comments down below. Thanks for watching.